bacterioides and prevotella now this organisms are actually anaerobic meaning that they grow well without oxygen they are also non spore forming and they are part of normal flora of the colon now this affects the human upon favorable environments now what would be your favorable environment for this patient a dead necrotic tissue now a dead necrotic tissue would obviously have impaired blood supply due to which there will be less oxygen so this organism can easily grow there this later on leads to abscess formation wherever this dead necrotic tissue is present there will be abscess formation it can also give rise to peritonitis if there is um if there is some your GRT small GRT bowel rupture there will be a lot of infection that is going on that infection would impinge upon the peritoneum which causes peritonitis and similarly the organism that is actually responsible for such peritonitis is bacterioides and provotella because in the abdomen there is no such air actually present in outside uh, in that non blood supplied part apart from that it can also enter the blood and cause sepsis now uh, this sepsis is because of hematogenous spread obviously now bacterioides consist upon genus bacterioides fragilis and whereas provotella consist upon a genus name as provotella melaninogenica now the differentiation between these two organism because they cause a similar disease is that b fragilis cause diseases Uh, below the diaphragm so this would include intraabdominal infection pelvic abscess necrotizing fasciitis and peritonitis whereas provotella melaninogenica what it does is it causes disease above the diaphragm so what is present above your diaphragm it will cause affect the lungs making it lung abscess and it can cause pharyngeal pore abscess and even brain abscess now the particular important feature that you need to always remember is that the dead necrotic tissue that is formed in the lung and when we receive that dead necrotic tissue or abscess in order to culture it it will have what black color colonies black color colonies now this is the most remembering feature in this disease that you will have blackish color colonies if you are culturing it or acquiring it for culture so our next uh, particular thing about b fragilis is that it has a virulence factor which is actually the capsule which plays part in abscess formation in the pelvis in the abdomen or anywhere else apart from this is that it is a gram negative organism so it also has an endotoxin but it, its endotoxin is not quite good why because it is missing a fatty acid making it a lipid a variant meaning that it is less toxic so if something is missing in it how can it properly work now it causes destruction or dead necrotic tissue by secreting enzymes such as hyaluronidase uh, collagenase and phospholipase and another organism which is included in the genus provotella is provotella intermedia now this organism causes gingivitis periodontitis and dental abscess now how do you culture this organism this organism is cultured on blood agar which contains antibiotics such as kanamycin vancomycin in order to inhibit the unwanted growth of the surrounding flora and it can also be identified the differentiation between the two can be identified by a biochemical test which which we use sugar fermentation and uh, gas chromatography helps in production of specific type of acids which are produced by this organism now the specific type of acid which is produced by this organism is formic acid acetic acid and propionic acid now we know that provotella causes specific type of colonies when it is grown or upon culture these colonies are blackish color now the treatment of the against this organism is that the first thing we need to do is we need to drain the abscess in both of these cases now in case of b for jealous what we do is we they have a metronidazole treatment now metronidazole is against anaerobic infections and combine it with ceph cefotexin or clindamycin whereas provotella 
melaninogenica, what it needs is either metronidazole that is used to eradicate anaerobic organism or clindamycin.